You were born in Brooklyn. I was born in Brooklyn, yes, which is a province of New York. Was there something special about being Jewish in Brooklyn at that time in New York? No, everybody was. <laughs> Every single human being in Brooklyn was a Jew at that point, so there was nothing special about it. It was quite ordinary. It was, it was a pedestrian thing to be. I mean, uh, I went to Manhattan, and I met all these Gentiles, and it was a little frightening. That was frightening. I said, my God, you mean there are other people besides Jews in the world? I mean, so that the, the, I, we never felt any, any uh, anti-Semitism or any strangeness. Uh, had we been transported to Nebraska or Kansas or Abilene, Texas, yes, we would have felt. They would have said, what the hell are that thing there talking in? And that Jew talk, a little, what the hell are so little itty bitty people are so short? So funny, and it can count. I got myself a Jew. I, I wanted her in Airedale, but I got myself a Jew instead. And uh, it do everything. It, 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 ostensibly, it's my accountant, but it's cuter than an accountant. It can count. It don't even need a pencil. It can count. You just, all you do, every night, you just take a little matzos. That's what they eat, unleavened bread. You put that in their dish in a little water to soften up because they'll cut their gums. You don't want a little Jew bleeding all over your carpet. You give them the machos and the little Jews, and they love you for it. They love you for it. They're wonderful people. And I try, I'm going to get another one. I'm going to try, I think, get a female. And I'm going to breed them. I'm going to breed these little Jews. And I'm going to sell them as little Jew accounts to everybody in Texas.